Good eyes, Hanhar. No wonder you're still number two on Narshada. <laughs> Yeah, and maybe you'd like to explain why you've decided to backstab Goto and claim the Jedi for yourself. You signed on with Boga the Hut? Visquis, you're dumber than I thought. There's no way Goto won't find out. <laughs> Yeah, right. I'm not telling you where the Jedi is. It's my bounty, and that means he's under my protection. I know you can hear me. The numbness you feel should be wearing off soon, but not before we've spoken. When I first heard you were on Nar Shadda, I didn't quite believe it. I didn't think anyone could track me here, but I see I underestimated you. I've been trying to discover your purpose in coming here, but it eludes me. Some of your actions have aided the exchange, others have thwarted them. I did not know your intentions when you stood before us at your trial so long ago, and I do not know them now. But whatever they are, you have succeeded in drawing me out. If anything, you should know that your actions have convinced me I can stand by and watch no longer. Whatever harm the exchange harbors against Jedi, I will not let another suffer for it. A friend has gone to meet Visquis in your stead, and I intend to rescue her. I will return shortly, or not at all. If you have come to this moon for answers, or for revenge, then you will follow me. For if I fail, then you will be denied both. Aida, I didn't think I'd ever find you. I can't believe you're here before me. The destruction of Telos? I can't even tell you what happened after, being shuttled from system to system barely one planet ahead of the Sith fleet. Shh. We can talk about it later. You have my thanks, stranger. I can only hope you have as much luck at what you're looking for. It's strange you came by when you did. I was right at the edge of deciding whether to give up, turning it over in my mind. And suddenly you walked through the door and gave me the answer I needed to hear.
Will do. Thanks again, stranger. Listen to me. Clear your thoughts. Still your breathing. Let the trace amounts of air in your lungs hold you. The force can sustain you. Listen to it. Let it keep you alive until you reach safety. It is an old technique similar to the healing trance. Some Jedi can hold their breath for hours, even days.
Ah! Uh. 